pandemic, of course, has affected Vistara's expansion plans for two reasons. One is commercially, of course, we also took a call to delay some of the aircraft. Just delay, but we have not cancelled any order. So by, by if you look at it uh, uh, as per original plan, pre COVID, I should have had six plus aircraft by the end of this year. Uh, but now we will only have about um, uh, 50, right now I only have 51 aircraft. So yes, there's a there's a slowdown. There's a reduction in the number of aircraft that I could have otherwise had. Uh, but there is also an issue because of production reasons, like uh, Airbus and Boeing also have their own reasons for production delay. So putting it all together, there has been a slowdown as compared to what it would have been. Uh, but how we will now that we are seeing a good recovery and we are on the track uh, to to grow, uh, we will make sure that expansion continues. That's the reason why we have now grown to a daily flight between Delhi to uh, to London, for example. Tomorrow we launch Coimbatore as uh, the 30th destination in our network. Uh, from Delhi, and then we will also add from Mumbai and uh, Bengaluru. So uh, there will be more such expansion that's uh, yet to come. Innovation is something that is very dear to us. It's something that uh, we hope and we believe is one of our key culture pillars. Uh, so innovation starts. It's not just uh, it's not just about IT. It's about processes. It's about how we do things. The very way in which I think we've managed or you know come through this pandemic. Uh, required a lot of uh, agility and uh, you know uh, thinking on the feet, which is what innovation is all about. So we we looked at cargo, for example, like all other airlines, as an important revenue stream. We looked at charter flights, for example, we did cargo charters. We also did passenger charters to areas where we would not have flown otherwise. Uh, we also made use of the bubble arrangements that we had, and of course, on the technology side, we also looked at uh, additional self help. We looked at new features such as blocking an extra empty seat. We looked at offering baggage tags through contactless SMS rather than a piece of paper. So there are many things that we have kind of introduced, some forced to introduce, some of course making use of the opportunities. Insurance is something that we launched, uh, which we know is very topical. It's important that people that there are more people subscribing to insurance. We launched services uh, such as gift card or gift ticket. We also launched uh, new uh, revenue streams around cards. We had a co-brand card. So essentially all uh, ancillary revenue streams except flying alone. I think those are very important changes and innovations. Uh, I would say demand is back to pre-COVID levels. I don't think it has risen beyond that, but then on a bigger capacity. So for us, uh, I would say about 15 to 20 percent increase in terms of passenger numbers versus pre-COVID. Uh, and that's primarily because of new routes and new capacity. I wouldn't say the biggest challenge, but the, 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 the fact of the matter, I would say, is that India, at least domestic uh, traffic, is uh, majority dominated by low-cost carriers. About 80% of uh, the carriage is on low-cost carriers. So that automatically has its own uh, you know, um, repercussions on the market because people expect a certain price level. Uh, but at the same time, the, there are uh, challenges for all airlines, I would say, not just for uh, in terms of uh, operating in India, I mean, one big challenge is our collections are mostly in Indian rupees, whereas a lot of payments are in US dollars, whether it, when it comes to fuel, when it comes to aircraft, maintenance, distribution, and so on. Uh, and of course, the rupee is a depreciating currency. So uh, as much as we would like to, there's always a pressure on our bottom line because of that. There's also taxation, which is quite, I'm sure you know about this, taxation on fuel, for example, in India is, is quite high compared to the rest of the world. And there are also uh, challenges um, within India in terms of uh, right now, as far as the uh, operation as a full service airline is concerned, of course, our cost base is slightly higher compared to low cost carriers because we offer some services which they don't. It could be meals on board, it could be lounges, uh, it could be a loyalty program. So these are all things that add to the cost, but we believe that it also brings value to the airline and to the customer. For most airlines, it's about 30 to 35 percent of expenditure. So 100 percent increase is immediately a 30 kind of 30 30 percent increase cost. So obviously, that is a concern, uh, and we can't recover all of that uh, from. from you know, uh, but what we do, uh, what we do from our side, which is also important from a sustainability perspective, is we are one of the youngest fleets, I would say, in the region. Our average age of the fleet is three years. So new technology aircraft, the new aircraft, and the various fuel optimization techniques that we use kind of reduces the fuel burn and you know provide some comfort 
But of course, overall, yes, there has been an increase in the fuel cost, and that's something we are trying to manage. 